morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Hey, how the heck is everybody? Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. I, you guys, I get so excited because in Phoenix, Arizona, this is the perfect time of the year. It's starting to cool down. It was 74 this morning. We opened the doors, have the fans on. Yes, it's going to get up to 102, but for us, we're in a cooling trend. And it's just beautiful. We have a little water thing outside for the birds and all the baby doves and the doves come down. Of course, we watch the cats stalk them. But um, yeah, it's absolutely them beautiful. It really is. It's, it's just a beautiful time of the year. And pretty soon everything is going to be in bloom. The bad news about that is we're allergic to some of the things that bloom around here. But everything in the desert blooms. Yeah, my eyes are going like crazy this morning because I got the doors all open. All the trees, but it's okay. all the cacti, all of that stuff blooms, you guys. Which I was amazed at. Because when we lived in Washington State, we gave away a lot of our gardening and yard... Um, uh, maintenance machinery because we thought we were going to have rocks. Well, we do have rocks, but we thought it was going to be desert as in flat sand desert. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's old growth trees here. You know, it's just it's like beautiful. California. It is. You drive down our neighborhood. It looks just like Southern California yeah. where we grew up. Yeah. Lakewood, Long Beach area yeah, it does. and Bellflower area. Yeah. Seriously. Crazy. Anyway, you guys, How's everybody doing on Just Get Up and Move Walktober? Harry and I are doing really good, and I'll share that with you. You guys, I was looking at my Fitbit this morning, and when I do the exercise run for some of you who are brand new, when I'm pushing a cart or I am not using my arms on the treadmill, I have to hit exercise run. And I found on my Fitbit that it shows my um, your pattern, your my path, pattern of path. where I went, the path where I went, and some of them are crazy. And you can tell that I'm like in a store going up and down aisles. <laughs> and you can see this like crazy squiggly stuff. It looks like a kindergartner was coloring with a bread crayon. Yeah, but when you have it on, when you're on the treadmill, right? It just kind of like shows. It just goes back and back forth, and back forth. and forth, back and forth. Yeah. So. Yeah, quite interesting. How's everybody doing on it? Today is arm day. I gotta work my arms today. Don't let me forget, Harry. Right. Yes, I do. Anyway, you guys, everything you eat, and I wanna remind you, and this is for the new folks, everything that you guys eat every single day has a direct effect on water weight. You're not gaining true fat unless you're eating 3,500 calories or more in a day, but you will retain water if you are taking medication, a new prescription, if you are taking new vitamins, sometimes the ingredients in that vitamin, the, the non-active ingredients, rice flour, starch, that kind of thing, uh, to hold the vitamin together can cause a weight, water weight stall. Um, lack of sleep, if you are getting a good night's sleep. Um, stress in your life. Lots of stress going on right now. I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. If you're like everybody else I know, we'd like 2020 to like, I'd like to wake up and say it was a bad dream. But anyway, uh, 2020 is almost over and 2021 is almost here. So you guys, we're shaking it into gear right now. We're shifting into high gear because Harry and I want to be out of the 170s by Christmas. We want to be in the 160s. So we're hitting it hard and heavy. We're trying to eat whole foods, nothing from a package, none of the keto products that are in packages, none of the breads, none of the net carb bars or anything because for us, and I'm speaking just for Harry and I, our bodies are very, very sensitive. Harry only has 12 more pounds to get down to his goal weight. My first, okay, yeah, his my first, first one. goal weight, the weight on his, um, height and weight measurements that say this is a normal height. You are at normal weight. Everything is normal. Okay. So we are really watching those things. Now I'm not saying I may not go to a vitamin uh, shop and get one of those Quest peanut butter cups that we got down in Tucson and have that Halloween night as a treat or maybe a bar of the skinny me chocolates that they make and have a treat. But that's like a one, -off, one and done. Thing. 
And I haven't thought of it yet if that's what we're going to do or not because we're this close, you guys. We're getting down there. We're getting down there. Anyway, with that, I want to share with you guys everything that Harry and I had to eat yesterday that was perfectly keto. Yesterday, Harry wanted to keep it soft and simple, so that's what we did. We had three, I had three eggs and four ounces of avocado, and I cooked my eggs in a half a teaspoon of butter. Harry had five eggs, you guys. Cooked in yeah, it worked two well. tablespoons of butter. It worked really well. Yeah, I did full. I, I was pretty satiated. much okay until dinner. Yeah. 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 Then he had. I we bought two small rotisserie chickens at Walmart. Peeled them and um, put them in the refrigerator. And we had that yesterday. Ten ounces of chicken with three tablespoons avocado mayo mustard aioli that I made him. I had. Uh, chicken parmesan salad you guys and i used seven ounces of chicken three cups were too much so i ended up having 100 grams of lettuce four tablespoons of caesar dressing and it was the primal brand 28 grams of parmesan cheese we both had two scoops of collagen and we had khalifa pumpkin spice in our coffee now you guys I introduced romaine lettuce back and I had Parmesan cheese. So I have not been having dairy and I've not had lettuce. So I've been taking probiotics in order to get my gut biome where it needed to be to be able to process the plant foods and the dairy. And you guys, I had no problems whatsoever. No stomach upset, no gas, no uh, issues with my intestines at all. So the probiotics really work and they really help me. You guys can get them at any grocery, even in the vitamin area, get some probiotics. I would go to a vitamin store or a GNC or a vitamin shop or Whole Foods and ask which one is one of the better ones just because you want it to work well for you. But I used it and it was wonderful. Harry used it as well. And he also had apple cider vinegar yesterday. How'd your uh, stomach do last night acid wise? Now you introduced coffee back yesterday. Yeah, I did, and, and, and uh, actually, I did it again today. This morning, uh, this morning I had a cup. Be That's I mean, not fine. not a cup. I had a capful. A capful. A capful. That's about a teaspoon. So if you have three a day, that's a tablespoon. And yeah. I put some in your mustard yeah. mayonnaise too last night right. for dinner. So. So yeah, it drew. What else did you want to know? That's it. Oh, okay. That's it. So anyway. Carbs, I had 18.8 .8 grams. Now it was a little bit less because I had a little bit lettuce, but as long as it's 20 total carbs or less, I'm fine with that. 66% fat for a total of 91.1 grams, 28% protein for a total of 86.6, .6, and I had 1,259 calories, which seems to be my sweet spot. 12, 1,300 calories seems to be my sweet spot. Harry had 1% carbs for a total of 4. 4.5 grams, 66% fat for a total of 112.4 grams, 33% protein for a total of 127.8 grams, and his calories were a little bit less. They were 1,555, but I didn't want to go over his lean body mass total of 133 uh, uh, pounds. So we, uh, you guys... There's that number that keeps coming that back number. again. See that number right there? Where? 127 yeah. comes up in my <clears throat> life a lot. And it was weird because I was with the uh, 127th Signal Battalion. Oh, really? Yeah. Is and that, that a number and, that keeps coming and up? And it keeps you? coming up all the time. Really? Yeah, it's weird. Well, I think for protein, to get, in order to get your calories towards the 1600s, your protein's always going to be at your higher limit. Because, well, for right now, I'm not giving you more fat because of your stomach. But if your stomach's better, we can stat, start adjusting with the fat ratio. I think... Well, we're not going to be able to do like we did exactly yesterday because we're out of chicken now. No! I pulled chicken out of the freezer. We've got chicken legs. You do? Yeah, right here. Oh, is that a chicken? Yeah, it's chicken legs and thighs. Oh, okay, cool. Foods. All right. Because I'd like to go do another day like just like eggs, yesterday if we can. Eggs and then I'll readjust the chicken amount. Yeah. Okay. I know it makes for kind of a boring cooking. Right. Because we're doing the same <laughs> thing, but it is working. And it's like right now our emphasis is on getting our weight down, not making right. fantastic meals. On our you know? show, we are not, it is not a keto cooking show. Yeah. That's not what we're here for, right. you guys. 
and I will always cook simple meals. I still work almost full time. I now have my hours have been cut down to 32 hours and I love it. But I'm not going to do elaborate meals every single day. They're not going to be rich meals with tons of cream and tons of Philadelphia cream cheese and casseroles, you know, topped with cream cheese. That's not where we're eating because we are too sensitive. Our systems are too sensitive to eat like that. Yeah. So I am thinking about making something, a Mexican casserole of some sort, but I need to get some um, cauliflower and I want to layer it like enchiladas, only not have an enchilada, right. but use enchilada sauce and a meat and some cheese. So I'm thinking about doing something like that in my head because I miss that Mexican flavor. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also torn because our weight is moving. It's going down, you guys. Yeah. And I'd rather hold off on that kind yeah, of food please. and go down than eat rich food right now. Right. Because I'm on a mission. Yeah, because right now my stomach is just, for some reason, very... It's, I it's, remember when we were vegan and you had gout, your stomach was killing you. I know. You were worried you were going to okay. get another ulcer. So, yeah. right. you know. Anyway, you guys, what did we weigh, you ask? Let me share. Yay! Look, Harry's almost back down to his all-time low. I'm coming down, but I've got a couple pounds to go, you guys. So I'm very excited that Harry had a little bit of a whoosh, and we know that's because he's not, he's two or three days off your gout pill. Two days off now? Uh, what day is today? Three days. Three days off your gout pill? I have to look. I don't Did know. Did you do the board this morning, Harry? No, you did not. No, I'll do it before we He's got to do the board. So anyway, you guys, I'm very excited about our weight loss. Yeah, looks good. And we're, we're both down. feeling great. And we'll come back and share the board in just a minute. Bringing you live to Wendy's Kitchen and Harry on the big board, on Harry's board. Hi, Harry. Hi. What's happening on the board today? Well, you know, it's good. It's good. Um, we're both going down, which is wrong. Going down. Right. You know, because we're, what we've done, we've, <clears throat> we've kind of changed over to chicken for a while because we got you don't want to break it up, but well, it was softer on both of our stomach, our stomachs, uh, our and right it's allowing us to go down. Down yeah, it is. is good. And I think uh, I, I really think that it's really working well. Um, yes. Because if you look, let me come. Okay. Um. This was what we had yesterday, which she went over earlier, and. Basically, it's all pretty much our standards, except that I don't have the ground beef in here, and I'm trying to stay off the ground beef for a while because I think it's the the fat is starting to maybe affect well, my stomach a little high, bit. Well, I think the high high beef protein is affecting your yeah. gout. Yeah, and that too. Yeah, that's true, huh? Yeah. But you can see we went down. I went down uh, one and four tenths yesterday. I went down another one and four tenths today. Yeah. Which is really weird, but we've been but we did eggs. Four days we did chopples uh, on the fifth, but that's all eggs. So you know, you could almost say it's eggs again, and then you know, and it right. seems to really be working because we're both going down on the days we just eat the eggs and have chicken. And your last gout pill was over here. Yeah, no, on that would be right here. Was gout it here? Pill. Okay, yeah. you got it. Okay. You have it written. Yeah. It's on your board. But look at me, you guys. I'm going down, 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 down. I'm so excited. Yeah. So we have to get down to our all-time low, and then we have to move downward from there. Yeah, I'm only two tenths. I'm only two tenths of a pound from my all-time low right now. Right. So let's they, gonna eat the same way again today. Do you think it's doable for December, December first, to be in the 60s, 160s? What do you think? November, November. Yeah, December. Yeah. Yeah. If we do, if we continue in this. If we stop experimenting right, right now and just work on losing the weight instead of the experimentation. Keep it simple. Keep yeah. it simple. Fat yeah, and we'll protein. Lose. Simple fat and protein will help you lose weight. Plain and simple. Yeah. Add a few greens in if you can take it. Maybe a sprinkling of cheese every once in a while. But for the most part, eat your fat, eat your protein. Don't worry about the rest. That's right. how I feel. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. And that's what, basically what we're doing right now. Are you going to have a little lettuce again today? You know what? No, I'm not. And I'll tell you why. I was going to have a tuna salad, but I've got that chicken out. I think we're going to have eggs for breakfast. I'm going to have the rest of my avocado. And then we're going to have those chicken legs 
for dinner, did you want to have a salad with yours? No, I don't want no salad. I don't think I'm, I'm gonna. not eating a salad right now. I don't think I'm going to, although It's really that hard lettuce, to digest, so. Then, then if all goes well, then tomorrow I may have a tuna salad because I already got the chicken out. I really want the chicken. So that's where I'm at. And you guys will come back in the next segment and I'll share with you our daily menu, what we're gonna have. I'll put it on paper and get it into the Fitbit and let you guys know in just a little bit. Okay, everybody, I've made today's menu and we are, I am having three eggs scrambled with four ounces of avocado and a tablespoon of butter, half a tablespoon of butter. Scramble my eggs and a half a tablespoon of butter. I want to put 28 grams of Parmesan cheese on that. And make it cheesy eggs. That'll be delicious. Harry's getting his five eggs with two tablespoons of butter. And then, you guys, for dinner, we're doing chicken quarters. I'm going to cook them in the oven. I'm going to give Harry two. And I'm going to have one. And we're going to have, uh, he's going to have avocado mayo and mustard aioli with a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar in it. And I'm going to make myself the same. I want some uh, avocado mayo and mustard with some um, avocado, no, what was it? apple cider vinegar in it because it was really good. So throughout the day, I'm going to have 24 grams of cocoa butter. So 12 in the morning, 12 in the evening with my two scoops of collagen and my six tablespoons of Khalifa. So two coffees that are going to have 12 grams of cocoa butter, a scoop of collagen, and three tablespoons of the Khalifa pumpkin spice. And Harry's going to have a scoop of collagen with three tablespoons of pumpkin spice, and 15 grams of cocoa butter in his. And he's going to have that twice a day, you guys. It tastes, cocoa butter, melted cocoa butter in your coffee makes a bulletproof fat bomb coffee that tastes, it's just like having cocoa, only better, hot chocolate. It's creamy smooth, and you know what? When you eat that bit of fat in your coffee, you're not hungry anymore, are you, Harry? Nope. It's very satisfying. It gives us the taste of heavy duty chocolate because the white cocoa butter is what makes your cocoa and your chocolates taste delicious. So is if that... you like chocolate, that's the pure, um, um, really good fats. There's no protein in it, oh, okay. it's fat, baby. It's all fat, okay. It's fat, it's, it's all, all fat. fat. Harry asked me if that was protein. No, cocoa butter is butter made taken from the cacao seed and it is pure fat and it is absolutely delicious so you might want to try some anyway i'm having four percent carbs for a total of 13.6 grams because i'm having avocado and i'm having some parmesan cheese yes i am look at this 75 percent fat total of 103.7 oh, grams 21% protein for a total of 67.3 grams. My total carbs are 1,219, you guys. I am almost spot on the, um, what is it? The the example of perfect macros. Right. Which are 5% carbs, 75% fat, 20% protein. So I did pretty dang good. I'm yeah. surprised at myself. Harry gets 1% carbs for a total of 4.5 grams, 137% fat. 23% protein for a total of 94.4 grams. His total calories are 1,616. If you guys are not able to get your high fat for the day, if you're not able to put in those fats, try adding a few of the, the cocoa nubs. You guys, they're delicious. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me share with you the brand I have right now. Um, the one I have is Navitas Organics, and it's organic cocoa butter. It's the white butter. It's There's nothing in this except certified organic cocoa butter. Okay. Now, I'd share with you the nubs, but the problem is mine melted. I got mine from Vitacost, and I literally... A little bit of the bag, I'll look at it. I'm going to show you. I literally uh, banged it on the counter, so... I take a teaspoon, I measure it. Yeah, look at Normally that. these come in little, little, I call them nibs. Cocoa butter nibs. Mm -hmm. And you guys can weigh them and weigh them in grams because it's just easier. Um, but I'm not worried about these being like this because I just take this bag, you guys, and bang it on the counter. 
I put it in the refrigerator and got it cold and then whacked it. So anyway, you guys, um, there's several different good ones. You can get it at Vitacost online. You can get it at in your store in the baked goods. You know, they used to have the mini Hershey's cocoa butter bars that I used to as a kid slather all over my body at the beach and fry myself, flip myself over like a frying pan and have some on myself. So you guys, these are delicious in your coffee or in your hot tea, or if you like chai tea, it's delicious. So you can also just make yourself a cup of hot cocoa with this too. If you don't drink um, and put in your, um, your milk replacement of your choice, heavy whipping cream, you know, you can add real powdered cocoa to it too. If you want, make sure you sweeten it with your sweeteners because this is not sweet in any way, shape, or form. It's 100% pure cocoa butter fat, and it's delicious. Anyway, you guys, it's 11 o'clock, so we're going to come back when we break our fast. Harry's mad at me again. Oh, it's like, you didn't tell me to start. Well, I just start cooking. What can I say? Yeah. Got my half of a butter in mine, half of a tablespoon. Got two tablespoons of butter in Harry's. Gotta start melting the butter, getting it brown and caramelized. I've got two eggs in here. Three to go for Harry. Ooh, that's a nice big, look at this big old sucker. He's a big one. Oh, then there's a little one. Look at that little guy. Dinky. They're just putting off. Any size egg, that's all, like I said. But that's good because you know what? I think you get a little bit of calcium with that, Harry. Okay, what you do? A little bit of water. There it goes. There it goes, the magic is happening. You can see the goldiness coming out, especially when she pours the eggs in. If you look as soon around as the, the edge, bubbles all dissipate. Look around the edge after she pours it in, you'll see brown. The brownish butter coming up around the edges is really neat. See how the bubbles go away? The noise disappears. It's ready. Especially when you scramble your eggs. I just think it just adds so much. Then I get, right I get three eggs. Coming up. Put a little bit of water on mine. here. Come here, Sal. Come here, baby. Yes, she gets scrambled eggs juice. Yeah, scrambled egg juice, huh? That's good. Yeah, she says, okay, thank you, Mom. a little container 28 grams of Parmesan in mine so 28 grams of goodness zero that out that's really thin sliced isn't it it is I love it because it it's makes like your thin. eyeball think you got a ton of cheese in there Sally, would you like a piece of cheese? You're such a good puppy. Sit down. Yes, you sit. Can you sit? Yes, you can. You're such a good baby. She's such a sweet little girl. Really? Okay, so what I'm going to do with mine, I'll flip this over. Mm. I'm going to put this, my cheese, some of my cheese on here. Get it melty. Melty cheeses. I love Parmesan because it has such big flavor. Yeah. Huh. Splashed it out the pan. Okay. 
Okay, you ready? Yep. Are your eggs? Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Harry. Look at the eggs you get. Nice. Woo! Get a whole big old plate of eggs, man. And then what I'm gonna do with mine, I'm gonna kind of flip it into an omelet. Woo! Look at that. Perfect omelet. So yesterday's avocado half was four ounces, so I'm thinking four ounces is the same today. Oh, probably, yeah. Uh, you know, because it's the same avocado. Mm -hmm. It's just the better half. So I'm just going to take this little spoon just scrape this avocado right out. Just scrape it right out. Oh, now you're using all my secrets from food decorating school. Yes, I am. I didn't think I could do something that pretty. Anyway, you guys, check it out. Look at that. I've got myself a Parmesan cheese and avocado omelet. And here he has scrambled eggs with two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. Anyway, you guys know what that means. You gotta eat now. You guys, I put a little bit, just a teeny weeny bit of hot sauce on my egg uh, omelet here because I thought, oh, let's take a taste test, shall we? Mmm. 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 You know, a lot of people don't like watching people eat, but you can't help it on this because you gotta, mm. you gotta mm, show mm, how this mm. stuff tastes. You know, that is so good. Got a cup of coffee in my Hocus Pocus glass because Hocus Pocus is my favorite Halloween movie. movie. Yeah, I love it. Okay, you guys, omelets the way to go. So satisfying, cheesy, delicious with fresh avocado. Gotta eat now, everybody. Hey everyone, I just got our paper in the mail and guess who's having a meat sale? Fashes. Really? Fresh yeah. ground chuck, $1.99 a pound. Yes. Look at this, boneless, skinless chicken breast, $1.37 a pound and pork country style ribs, 97 cents a pound. Avocados, 75 cents for large avocados. Whoop, whoop. This I want right here. Yes. Because you wrap bacon around it. Look, those. wild Argentine red you hear, shrimp. You hear me? You wrap bacon you can wrap, around whoop, those. Shrimp. Wild caught shrimp. Oh, you, can wrap, so you, can ratch, you can wrap them around there too. They're big ones. Yeah. Okay, you guys, that's the good news. Do you oh. want to hear the bad news? Local news. The mom and I just went to church on Sunday for the first time in, oh, since March. Because of the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus. The, and our church has a school with it. It's all part of the campus. The news just said one of the students tested positive for the zombie apocalypse virus Monday. I called the pastor to find out about it because of a lot of octogenarians go to our church, including my mom, including me. My mom went there today for Bible study. She just went for the first time. Bible study resumed today for the first time on campus. And he said, as a matter of fact, they just got notification that two more students for a total of three now have been tested and they've closed the whole school and everybody's in quarantine. I'm so upset, I can't even tell you, because now I'm in quarantine. I don't know, they, they won't give names or anything like that, but they assure you, pastor assured me that they cleaned the church and they cleaned the, the library and the conference rooms and all these areas. Well, you can't, we're talking high school kids here, running all over campus, doing the things kids do. So, yeah, and it's a small Christian school couple hundred students at best so yeah the whole campus is closed so I'm gonna self quarantine myself with my mom um, and just try not to go anywhere or do anything for 14 days because who knows you guys hey I'll stay here with you yeah hey Harry will you stay here with me yeah in the house? I do. job volunteer we work with me in the house no here? problem yeah no problem oh that's right it's deja vu because mm -hmm. that's what we've been doing since March 
crazy. Yeah, it is. It's just crazy. Anyway, that's my rant, you guys. Prayers that those kids get well and healthy and none of them were in the church, the sanctuary, and using the restrooms. Nobody went in the conference room. Nobody went and used the kitchen or was looking for cookies left over from church, because they do. Um, and we're all healthy here. So that's the most we can do. Just do the best we can do, and that's what we're doing. Anyway, you guys, I've got the chicken quarters ready, and I think I'm going to put them in the air fryer. I think that's where I'm Yeah, because I want to eat. I'm you like, do. I'm hungry, man. You want to eat, huh? Okay. I'm hungry today. Well, these are the chicken quarters. I don't even know how many there are in here, but this is like a gooey mess. Well, how long did it sit down? No, it hasn't. It's just, I defrosted them and put oh, them in the refrigerator. And right. it's just paper because it's from Whole Foods. Right. Because I got the expensive chicken. This is the expensive chicken. Well, what's chicken. the difference between the expensive chicken and yes, the Yes, they're chicken. organic, farm-raised, oh. golden chicken. Yeah. Masa Panda massaged. Yeah, that's right. You know, the whole spiel. Massaged by Ooh, hand. Ooh, they're look big. Look at those. Nice. That's big. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Careful. Okay, that's not going to work. Hey, you need a hard one. Mm. Did I wash that thing? No, it's got some good old tallow in it. I mean, as far back as possible, because Wendy's organizing. Because I am getting them in, flipping the puppies. Here you go. How long do you think? That way we each get a big one. Yeah. And I can cook the rest. So I'm going to put some salt. You always want to have a little bit of uh, oil, butter, um, tallow, anything like that in your um, air fryer so that it tastes really good. And I'm gonna use uh, Redmond's organic seasoning. This should be fine. It doesn't have, it's got like garlic and onion and stuff in it, Harry. Just to give us a little bit of flavor. Redmond's real salt. Okay, so I'm gonna cook these until the internal temperature comes up. So I'm gonna cook these for 50, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Anyway, you guys, how's everybody doing? We'll come back when it's chicken. While my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna make our mayo and mustard little mix here, aioli, and here he gets three tablespoons. And a tablespoon is 14 grams times three is uh, 42, so. Go here, go to Graham's. Here comes the sun. Oh my gosh. Where can I go? That's fine, you're good there. You're good there. There, there. It's kind of it's 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 muted. <laughs> so it's not super bright, you know. And then I'm gonna put some apple cider vinegar. This is with the mother. It's organic, it's unfiltered, and you get a, a capful worked really well, didn't it? Yep. Really like that. Would you some? Well, I'm making yours first because yours is different than mine. Oh. Because I'm going to put a little bit of sweetener in mine. Oh God. Yeah. I knew you would be happy I'm about that. Gonna ruin that. it. Well, for me, it would ruin it. Right. I'm sure a lot of other people like sweets. You know. I'm going to make. I'm going like to make like sweet. a honey mustard. I want a little honey mustard dressing. Okay, I need you to taste this. Tell me if it tastes good. A little more cider. A little bit more? One more cup. I or gave you half a cap. cap. Half a cap. I don't want it so tart and tangy. Of course, you made like a turret tank. I like a tank. Oops, didn't mean to spit on the stove. Okay, try. That's better. Come on, a little more. Yeah, a little bit. Just a bit. Tangy. I like a tangy, man. Okay. I like tang. Oops. Okay, there you go.
I can tang you. Here, now taste it. Yeah, that's it. That tang, oh, that tangy. Mm, it is. Okay, that's yours. I'm liking that one. So what I am going to do for mine, well, it's a little bit more than that, but that's fine. So what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to put, mustard's almost out, so. I got some more in the other room. I know, but I use it to the end. There's mustard in here. I just know it. Oh, yeah, there is. It's just a, you know. There's, look at it, it's really coming out of there. Yeah. Now you guys, I'm gonna put one capful of the apple cider vinegar in mine. But, I am also going to put some pancake syrup in mine. Oh. Give it that maple, Honey mustard flavor. Ugh. Just to sweeten it, just a tad. You know, I gotta try it when you're done now. I gotta see what's going Oh, okay. Like. It's either gonna taste delicious or it's gonna taste nasty. I remember going somewhere on a trip when I was younger and they had a honey mustard, maple honey mustard dressing and it was divine. And it was made with maple syrup. Real maple syrups, let's try. <laughs> oh my gosh. You like it, huh? Oh my gosh, try Wait this. Wait a minute, let me tell you. Not bad. I mean, it just tastes like maple syrup in there. It's good. It's not tangy. What do you mean it's not tangy? It's not tangy. Sweet and sour. It's not tangy. What does that mean? People are going, what does that mean? It's got sweet and sour taste to it, I guess. Yes. It's, it's not, not bad. Thank you. I could see why you like it. I could it, it goes along with your flavor taste. Your, yes, your, it does. Your taste buds. Yes, it does. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. So, it, no, it's good. Don't get me try wrong. Try it. Just Mine's little, better, just but a you know. little dab of the my, maple syrup that you use in replacement. Much, mine's much better. I'm gonna take it out. It's almost, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there, it's getting there. By the time we take it out, it's got two more hashtags. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's done. Put it on the plate. Ooh, crispy. Oh, oh, isn't that yeah, beautiful? Crispiness. Honey, you're right next to that. Other That's plate. right. This freaking sun is so hot. Mine. Yours. We'll put these in while we're eating. Yeah. Tough sucker. That's a tough bird, man. Always internally check your chicken. 20. Okay, you guys, look at this. This is so lovely. Oh my gosh. Am I out of the sun, honey? Yeah, go this, just go this way a little more. There you go. Anyway, you guys, this is our dinner. We're very excited. Chicken with a mustard, mayo, aioli, and mine is honey mustard. It's yeah. gonna be delicious. Anyway, you guys, we're gonna wrap up our vlog for today. If you guys like what you see, Please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up, you guys, so that other people can find us in the algorithm. And we will see you tomorrow, everybody. Good night. I know, did you hear how crispy that is? Yeah, did you hear that thing crunch? Mm. Oh. Look at how bright that is. Look at oh that. My how pretty. God, that's bright. How pretty does the air fryer work? And yeah. it makes cleanup look. I just clean up some breeze. Well, for you.